Today we will start about the biochemical transducers and what uh, what are the biochemical transducers used in the hospital section that biochemical transducers are designed to measure the concentration of an ion or of a certain gas dissolved in the blood one electrode is used in a sensitive to substance measured and the second electrode is used in insensitive to that substance being measured the second electrode is known as a reference electrode whereas first electrode is known as a active electrode means measuring electrode now different types of the biochemical transducers or electrodes in that first one is a reference electrode and second one is a pH electrode and third one is a blood gas electrode. Let's we will move into the first one is a reference. Let's we will move into the uh, reference electrode. And that what is the basic structure of the reference electrode. A silver silver chloride wire is a coated with a layer of silver chloride if this is your silver chloride wire so coated with the layer of now this small small I have to be written here this is your coated this is your AG AGCL this is your AG and AGCL AGCL wire and this is your AGCL coating this is your AGCL coating this is your AGCL coating now entire the structure of the AGCL coated silver wire in place of this AG and AGCL we have to written also calumel electrode we have to write the calumel electrode in place of AG and AGCL electrode so this the wire is a sealed in the glass tube so entire this wire is sealed the glass tube I have to be um, this wire I have to be sealed with the glass tube this entire it will be sealed with a glass tube now this is your glass tube glass tube the wire is a sealed in the glass tube and is dipped in KCL solution so this entire structure so we are going to dip into the KCL uh, structure I have to be mentioned here entire the structure is dip into a KCL solution then I have to be dip into this one into a KCL solution this is your KCL solution it will be acts as a salt bridge this KCL solution it will be acts as a salt bridge it will be acts as a salt bridge so below this bottom one it will be a porous this bottom one is a a porous glass if this KCL pellet tube acts as a salt bridge and the electron exchange between the ion silver and metal silver taken place in this region so we will go for the oxidation and reduction takes place from in this what do you mean by the oxidation and reduction takes place here now this KCL salt bridge here now this KCL this KCL salt bridge it will be acts as a one of the electrode and AGCL and calomel electrode here it will be acts as another this positive and negative and the potential difference between this salt bridge electrode and this AGCL or the calomel electrode so we are moving to measure a meter 
now from in this case in this case if oxidation and reduction process takes place now in this generally generally the reduction and oxidation reduction and second one is oxidation reduction reduction we need to reduction takes place one is a az plus and on electron minus now we are getting the azcl metal so that is your az metal so we are getting output is az metal in brackets s gain of electron and second oxidation o represents here to give an electron metal it will give electron az in brackets s represents a metal so gives right to az plus az plus minus electron this reduction and oxidation process this consider this process is called as a reduction and this process is called as a oxidation process in this way the basic configuration of the reference electrode so we have to be seen here so now we will move into the second one that is your ph electrode the ph of the blood is very important the ph is directly related to the hydrogen ion concentration in the fluid so generally we have to be written in the ph value generally so we have to return in the ph ph is equal to negative logarithm of log base 10 h plus ions the ph is measure of the acid base balance of fluid and neutral solution has ph of 7 and the ph of normal atrial blood may be from 7.38 to 7.42 a thin glass membrane allows a passage of only hydrogen ion if a thin glass membrane I am able to consider in this case this this is your the pH glass electrode for the pH measurement and second one the combination electrode for the pH measurement the potential difference between these two electrodes we are able to measure here for the meter connection first the pH sends to bulb now this is your pH sends to bulb and electrode filled with a neutro potassium chloride solution the buffered pH 7 and contains AZ and AZCL now this contains AZ and AZCL wire that forms the elect electric connection and the reference system it will be located here the reference system at outer glass tube and also consisting AG and AGCL wire in ports that CL minus solution into the inside now this is your inside wire it will be a AG and AGCL now this is the combination of this circuit now this is for only the the ph that is your only ag agcl electrode this is reference electrode and the measuring electrode now so we are able to measure the ph value is calculated the difference between the potential of reference electrode and the measuring system now this is your reference electrode now the inside electrode is a measuring electrode by measure the potential difference between this measuring electrode me and the reference electrode re by using this meter the inside the glass bulb a 
that high acid buffer solution is put the silver silver chloride is used in this case the ph measurement is done by using a glass electrode for the ph measurement in general circuit is for in this and other hand the reference electrode is already so we have to be seen in the previous one the combination of electrode available having a both ph glass and electrode the reference now this is the combination of the both electrode the impedance of ph electrode vary from your 50 to 500 mega ohms impedance it will be vary from 50 to 500 mega ohms the input impedance of this meter must have extremely high value for a proper measurement now this is the general ph value measurement so then how the oxidation and reduction takes place from this ph tip of this bulb in generally so if you need to consider here how the oxidation and reduction takes place if for example i have to be zooming in this entire structure of this okay the diluted hydrogen chloride ions the diluted hydrogen ion chloride ions contains large number of negative charge chloride and large number of positive charge H plus ions now this is your diluted ions now large number of Cl minus here the Cl minus and Cl minus and Cl minus here the inside here here H plus ions large number of H plus ions and here also large number of H plus ions nearest of this bulb when the pH sensor is immersed into this acid if this is your pH sensor this pH sensor immersed into acid the H plus ions are able to penetrate boundary area of the glass membrane and considerably large Cl minus ions remains in the solution the result charge separation same process occur at inside solution if for example what is the boundary of the inside solution and what is the boundary of the outside solution if the membrane is present inside and outside of the boundary if you want to see the bulb inside it will be located if for example this is your bulb if the membrane is represented here inside if for example inside is a H plus ions is there outside is a negative charge Cl minus is there so inside of this pH sensor H plus ions are equal to the outside of the Cl minus ion the potential difference it is a neutral so 3 H plus ions and 3 Cl minus ion the potential difference between inside of this uh, solution and outside of this solution it will be a neutral so the pH is equal to 7 if your pH value is equal to 7 it will be called as a neutral if for example if the pH value the inside of the solution if for example this glass membrane so now the structure it will be seems like that and if the inside H plus ions are greater if the H plus ions is a greater and outside H plus ions are only H plus ions if you want to seem here the membrane if the membrane here H plus I am representing only the plus here and outside of this uh, sensor only two plus ions are there H plus ions inside is a greater than outside of this sensor here this is called as a pH is a greater than 7 
this is called as a base if for example if this buffer solution if your pH sensor is kept at a buffer solution if H plus ions concentration is a lower than outside of the process solution it will be acts as a acidity your H plus ion concentration inside is lower if for example H plus ions are inside is a lower only 2 plus ions are there inside and outside is a 4 H plus ions are there the H plus ions concentration inside is a lower than outside then the process of the solution it will be acts as acidity means the pH is a value it will be seems like that in this way so we will go for the representation of the pH value so by using the uh, pH electro now we will move into next third one is a blood gas electrode the pressure of oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood are important physical chemical measurement and partial pressure of the oxygen is also called as oxygenation can be measured both in vitro and vivo process means outside of the body uh, measurement and inside of the body measurement if the voltage of approximately 0 0.7 if approximately 0. 7 volts is applied between the platinum wire and the reference electrode so we are applying the so platinum wire and second one is the reference electrode this is your reference electrode 0 0.7 volts and the reduction of the oxygen takes place at the platinum cathode the reduction takes place the platinum cathode here and the result in the oxidation and reduction current proportional to the partial pressure of the diffusion oxygen so this is your diffusion oxygen membrane which can be measured in some applications the measurement of PO2 and PCO2 here the electrolyte solution where in O2 can be diffused here and the solution in which the measurement is made here the measurement of PO2 and PCO2 are combined into the single electrode that is also include a common reference half cell the combination electrode and generally we have to be seen of these two platinum and AgCl electrode the potential difference is measured by using this uh, micro ammeter here the porous membrane allows dissolved oxygen to diffuse into the sensor now here bottom one is a porous membrane is allows dissolved oxygen to diffuse into the sensor to measure the potential difference between to measure the potential difference between this platinum wire and AgCl wire with the help of this micro ammeter when these two electrodes are diffused into membrane through which oxygen can be diffused now this is your you will get the potential difference between uh, platinum wire and AG and AGCL electrode because AG and AGCL electrode is a reference electrode and platinum wire is a measuring electrode in this way we can measure the oxygen and carbon dioxide in the blood this is the third one blood gas electrode 